question and the question goes forth. You are required, you are given the following record from the books of our day to prepare the appropriate subsidiary books of accounts. Record the transaction below appropriately. Now, January 20, sold goods for cash at 400 naira. Presently, whenever we sell goods on cash basis, such transaction will be recorded in the cash book. The subsidiary book of account for such transaction is the cash book because all cash transactions are recorded in the cash book, irrespective of the nature of what was bought or sold or what was paid for. Now let's go further than that. Further. Let's go a bit. January 21st, return goods that is return television worth 3,500 naira to Tolu. Actually, the appropriate book of original entry for the transaction we are preparing is the return outwards day book. Because we are looking at what happens whenever a day, we are representing a day. So whenever a day returns sets of goods to any of the suppliers, which book of account will it record it to and how will it be how will it be treated in the ledger accounts so return television what 3500 naira total loop will be recorded in the return outwards day book return outwards day book otherwise known as purchase return day book. So how are we going to represent return goods, return television worth 3,500 naira to Tolu? The first thing we are writing is the date, the date the transaction took place. So we are writing 21-1, 21st of January. And who did that they return the goods to? To look. And what did he return to him? Television sets at 3,500 naira as a whole, not each. So in the column for a month, we are writing 3,500 as well as the total column. We are writing 3,500. But in order to separate Tolu's transaction from other creditors' transaction, we rule a line, a demarcating line, under Tolu's transaction. Tolu's transaction. Then let's go further. Bought motor van for cash at 1,000 naira. Like I said earlier on, whenever there is an exchange of cash, such transaction will go the, the appropriate subsidiary book of account for such transaction is the cash book. So it will not be recorded in the return outwards day book. Now the next transaction took place on the 23rd of January. We return. Who are, who are we representing? We are representing a day. Whenever you are in an exam, examination hall and you see we, you are representing the persons, person in whose book of accounts you are preparing the transaction. So we return, return four rulers, meaning a day return four rulers at 500, at 500 naira each to the poor. So for that transaction, you write 23-1, then write four rulers. Now, 
the first thing that is recorded in the in the particular column for this particular question is the name of the creditor to whom goods were returned. So we have that one. Since the rulers were returned to him, and what were the things returned to him? Four rulers at 500 naira each, which sums up to 2,000 naira. Please always maintain a proper place value. So now, you draw a line. Underneath is column to separate the cost transaction from to lose transaction. So now, the next transaction took place on the 24th of January. Both recycle recycle B at 5,000 Naira cash for office. That's a cash transaction. And like I've been saying since I started on this topic, on this topic is cash transactions are not recorded in the day books. The next one, January 24, return cash of 400 Naira to daily. That's equally a cash transaction because it was cash that was returned to daily and not goods. Now, new nylon pots at 3,000 Naira were returned to Yemi due to defects. That's a return outwards transaction. So, the transaction will be recorded in this return outwards day book. So, the first thing we are writing is January 25. 25-1. And which, which creditor was the goods returned to? Hear me? And what was returned to him? New nylon. New nylon at 3,000 naira. And just as we've been doing in the first two transactions recorded, we are going to write 3,000 Naira in the amounts column as well as the total column. And then separate it. Then we create an addition. This addition, we are about to add up the total columns. So that's why we, we extend the line under the total column. So here, at the end of the month, 31, 1, the total money will be transferred to return outwards accounts at the end of the month. So this is zero, zero, five hundred and six plus two, that's eight thousand five hundred. Then we show that we rule two lines under the total to show that we are done with return outwards the book. Now, we are going to equally, now we are going to post the transaction into the ledger. We are going to post it into the ledger, ledger accounts. Now, for such, is worthy of note. When we are treating our tricks of debiting and crediting, we made mention of dealer. We said, dealer, whenever assets, whenever asset is reducing, we are going to credit such asset accounts. 
when we return set of stock of goods to the creditor, the value of our assets, the value of assets that we have will reduce. And whenever there is a reduction in the value of our assets, we are going to credit such assets. Meaning the return out to us accounts will be credited for the total value of goods that we return to the creditors. So we go to the credit side of those accounts, write the last day of the month, 31st January, and who were the goods returned to creditors? We put creditors in a particular column, and the, value, the total value of goods that reduced 8,500 naira. Now, to the individual, in the individual creditors' accounts, whenever, whenever remembering our leader trick of debiting and crediting, we said that whenever our liability to our creditor is reducing, when our liability to the creditor reduces, we are going to debit such as a result of the fact that we return goods, we return stock of goods to our creditor. It means our indebtedness to each debtor reduced. And in line with our dealer trick of debiting and crediting, we said when there is reduction in liability to creditors or when there is reduction in the firm's liability to outsiders, such a transaction will lead to having a debit entry. So in this case, the liability to each debt creditor's account reduced as a result of the goods returned to them. So their account, in essence, will be debited. So in case of Tolu, we come to the debit side of his account. We are going to write the date. The, we return, are they return goods to him, 21st of January. And the liability of the organization to, to Tolu reduce as a result of the goods returned to him, returned out to us. And the value of the goods was 3,500 naira. The same thing goes to uh, uh, DAPO. So the day was 23rd of January. The same thing returned out to us. Led, led to the reduction in Ade's liability to DAPO. So the value of the goods returned to him was 2,000 naira. Then Yemi, on the 25th of January, the same thing that led to reduction in liability was the goods returned to him at the rate of 3,000 Naira. Now, having got into this stage, uh, whenever at a particular point, I will advise you to pause the button and then listen to it until you have a clearer understanding of what I am saying. Have a great day. Thank you and God bless you.